Yulan Chu and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and it is another exciting day today because tonight there will be the new arc for the Enterprise Part 3. But Scopely already announced some of the new big introductions in, in this arc and uh, that's temporal artifacts and new enemies, that's the silent enemies and I want to use the time for this out of usual schedule video to give you a quick insight into those um, new additions. Um, it's a noon video for a change and uh, if there are more announcements about the officers and the other stuff that's coming with it in time I will make another video um, for this afternoon to give you an introduction in the rest that's coming as well before um, the new arc comes in and we will all be busy with playing and uh, exploring what's all there um, but this will be two hours uh, earlier than usual if I can make it so have a look out there that there, there will not be an from my point of view evening video then it will be a little bit earlier if I can manage but let's have a look at a quick look at the temporal artifacts there was a scopely announcement you can see here and also the video that uh, just used the text from from this announcement and I quickly want to give an introduction so kind of a summary for it in the artifact gallery from tonight on you will find temporal artifacts as well they have nothing to do with formation armadas and everything else and they work a little bit differently than the other artifacts um, and you will see that um, in this video and I quickly want to talk about this because there will be new enemies that you need for these temporal artifacts and there's are the so-called silent enemies they are in addition in the Delphic Expanse in the Zindi space and you will find those uh, silent enemies after the start of the new arc in um, the silent nebula and to access this nebula you will need silent nebula tokens and then when you defeat those silent enemies you get rewards that you need for the whole temporal artifacts stuff but we just will go through the loop uh, quickly to have a look at this. They finally made a, one of those uh, loop pictures again and so that's nice and so we can just go through it quickly. You start with claiming a daily bundle of temporal disruptors and silent nebula tokens in the Xborg faction store. So it's another token system where you need to go but you will find them daily in the Xborg faction and then you take those tokens to go to the silent nebula systems and there you defeat silent enemy hostiles and with those you get temporal disruptor parts and then you take those temporal disruptor parts for reward chests containing temporal disruptors ship parts and orbit medallions I'm really happy to see the orbit medallions here by the way because they are used for for some very nice prime research but so far you could only buy them for a lot of money in the Scopely store and I really like it that you uh, can get them for free now by grinding I mean it's another grind again I, I'm not so sure if I'm happy about that yet um, because there's when they added the Zindi was a lot already and now we we get the silent enemies as well but then you use those um, temporal disruptors you get for specific temporal artifact shards in the artifact section of the store. Although in the Scopely video they said uh, it's in the artifact gallery and here it says in the store. Um, I will have to have a look when, when the arc is uh, finally started where it really is. But of course about everything that's part of the new um, Enterprise Part 3 I will make videos. It's just an introduction with what we know what's coming tonight that I'm doing here in my noon video um, European time um, Central European time noon video for others it will be an early morning video but um, we will see how that ends but I, I wanted to give you this in, in introduction because there is something nice about it as well and uh, it's good to know what's coming even if you've seen the the Scopely video already and they say by the way that um, the first one of all those temporal artifacts you should get is the great eye of error because 
it reduces the short cost of all artifacts for restoration and upgrading. And so um, I can understand why they say that, and, and I might really do that, because the next ones are getting cheaper. And so whenever I can get something cheaper, it's, it's a good thing. But there's a lot of those artifacts here. This is the Great Eye of Error, as I explained already. Then there's the Orb of the Emissary, which uh, gives critical chance boost for explorers versus interceptors. The Orb of Time, which gives critical chance boost for interceptors versus battleships. The Orb of Prophecy, which gives critical chance boost for battleships versus explorers. Then there's Jahila, which uh, gives damage bonus and wave defense for all ships, which is nice as well. Then there's La'an's 21st Century Watch. You might have seen the Strange New World episode where she and Kirk um, do a time travel uh, together. First, she, she goes to another dimension, so to speak, or another timeline, uh, and then uh, with Kirk to another century. And there she gets this watch. And that boosts construction speed. And when, if I need something, it's, it's a construction speed boost still. The times of, for construction on my base are uh, enormous. Then there's the Stone of Memory, which I really like because it gives a daily Syndicate XP claim boost. There's the Temporal Observatory, which gives a Warp Speed boost. Um, Nero's Trident, an Officer Stat boost. The Chroniton Sample, a Borg Cube Cutting Beam damage boost. The Kralmoth B Portal uh, reduces damage taken in PvP. The Iconian Gateway increases repair cost efficiency for uh, faction si ships. And uh, the Boroth Time Crystal gives a damage bonus versus hostiles for all ships. The Guardian of Forever reduces true critical damage taken. And the Book of the Costa Majan it gives hull um, plating boost for all the ships. And uh, the, that book you will remember from uh, the final episode of Deep Space Nine. You know where Kai Wynn almost released the Parade uh, with the Book of Costa Mojin. And uh, Cisco then threw Ducat with his Power Wraith and the Book of Costamogen uh, into the fiery pits of the uh, fire caves again. And uh, so there's a lot dealing with the, the, the Deep Space Nine here, uh, although we are in the Zindi Expanse and we're in Enterprise Part 3. Sometimes I'm quite confused by their choices, but... Uh, well, I, in, in general, I, I do like um, the idea um, of those temporal artifacts because they give more nice boosts and you can need every boost in this game because with all you have to do, with the prices uh, everything has when you get to higher levels and stuff, it's quite a, a load of work. But um, having another grind, as I said, is, is a different topic as well. I'm not so sure how doable that will be. But of course, as I said, I will make videos about all the new details. Once they are there, I will definitely show you, uh, give you a look through this um, uh, loop. It will be difficult in the first day again. I will have to do the German and the English at once again. So there will be some more cuts within a video because I have to do the same thing twice in two different languages. Um, with just one token, uh, probably. Um, they are not that generous. Maybe they give me more tokens, then I can do the videos more easily. Um, in the gift section or something, we might find more. Last time, for some reason, I had more and I didn't know. So this time I will look uh, more closely if I have more of those, those tokens so I can do the video separately. Otherwise, if you see a lot of cuts in that video, that's because I have to do the same thing in the same film filming session twice in two different languages. But nevertheless, I'm looking forward to this and um, also about the officers. When, when the next announcement is there, what officers come and so on, then I will try to make a different video for this afternoon so you get the full picture before the new arc starts. But if you want to say something, what you think about this new edition in advance, I mean your opinion about a new grind, please write a comment under the video. And if you just uh, have questions in general or video requests, please write it in the comments as well. You know that I'm reading them regularly. And if you just want to say hi and where you're from, you know I'm quite curious where my active viewers are coming from. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.